The Panthers have won their last seven against Manly. They're closing in on potentially a third minor premiership in four seasons. But first things first, they've got a desperate Manly outfit tonight. And two clubs from the opposite side of Sydney meet in the middle here in round 24. And already a shift out to that left-hand edge. And Parker goes spearing into the defence. Where it was tackled by Martin and Cleary. And now Ventra Boyevich in his second starting appearance for the Sea Eagles. Well, that's exactly what Billy Slater was talking about. Second play of the game. They go wide. And they found space. And they coop it up. That left-hand side will be interesting because Zach Hosking maintains that centre position for the Panthers. Did a serviceable job last week. Obviously far more at home playing in the forwards. A wobbling kick by DCE. Picked up by Sunya Taruva. A 20-year-old played three games last year, so that means he is eligible for Rookie of the Year on us in 2023. He's played every game for the Panthers this year and scored six tries for them. His top one. Six tries in his last four games for the New South Wales winger. And now Dylan Edwards. He got four tries when they met earlier in the year in round six. Dumped into the ground 12 metres short of the halfway. There was big contact there from Sean Kepi. He got in under the ribs of Dylan Edwards. And Dylan Edwards, he's still on his haunches. Knocked the wind out of him. It's a really good shot. Well, he's been carrying an injury, Dylan Edwards. I think it might be a rib injury. Last week he was holding his ribs on multiple occasions. Look at this, Bill. Wow. Man. Let's go to Brad Fittler's sideline. Lovely night over here at Four Pines Brookie. Their yeah, conditions are great. It's been a big wind all day on the northern beaches. It's come from the southwest. That should favour Daly Cherry Evans if he wants to go for a nice little sneaky 40 20. It's also taking a lot of the dew off the ground. Croker! An offload! Confident start by the Seagulls. Their attack was impotent last week as uh, Schuster goes left to Ben Trebojevic. They scored three tries, but the game was over when they scored them. And two of those came off kicks, but they've started in a much more positive manner tonight. And Schuster has belted it over the net ball. Well, he was looking for touch. I have no doubt that the plan is use the ball coming out of trouble. But when you get in attacking areas, kick the ball out just to try to play around with the rhythm and the speed of the game. Try to uh, get up, it uncomfortable top. for Penrith. Oh, oh. Watch out for that one, Guys, kicking the ball out. And just further to that point too about Manly last week, they, they struggled to score points with ball in hand as such. Well, well, how do they improve that tonight against this Panthers defensive outfit? which is the best in the world. They average 12 points per game conceded throughout 2023. It's a better defensive record than when they won the comp the last two years. Six more tackles. Summerton playing left now, and Jack Cogger, who comes in for the ill Jerome Luai. And Sorensen now. Away to go. He busted through the first attempt to at tackle, but couldn't regain his feet. And Ola Kawadu comes in to secure him. Cogger out the back to Crichton. Good hands to Ruba. Got this manly outside defence panicking somewhat now. One-headed pass back to Cogger. He plays his seventh NRL game of the season. And he's crept off the mark. Push up, lock on. Goes back to play it to summit it. James Fisher Harris. Attacking kick territory. Go for Cleary through the hands. He's pinched and intercepted. Schuster. Schuster's looking for a speed man. He's got Parker there. He kicks ahead for Parker. But the Panthers get back there. They didn't have enough pace. Why did he kick? Well, he kicked because he didn't want to run anything. <laughs> Oh, that was a big play. It was the wrong side. He needed Jason Saab and Cole of it. That's a big play, wasn't it? Now the Panthers shift on the back of that. You can see the spectacular hands of just the bottom right of screen. And there's the kick. 
Oh, penalty. Didn't let him up. Oh, got to be really careful here, Manly. They've been right up for this, the opening five minutes of this, this must-win game. They know the equation. You win this game and you keep your finals hopes alive. You lose and you've only got three games to go. You won't be playing finals. They can absorb like any other team. The Panthers, here they come. Clearing a deep pass for Edwards and then a ferocious run as ever by Liam Martin. And he's wrapped up by Jake Trebouille. He's summoned it. Radio now Cleary against Terry Evans. He beat him there. They have a tendency to come out of the line on his own, Dowie Cherry Evans, when he's threatened. Now yo. It's causing some problems for the defence. Broke the previous tackle. Nearly slipped out of Jake's attempt there. Cleary. Uh, good tackle. Wrapped up. Uh, ball and all. Sorensen by Cherry Evans. Now Yo. Now Cleary. Now Martin. Good tackle. One on one. Ben Trevojevic. But he's trying to play this quickly. Liam Martin. Summerton's there. This is in a way to Cleary. A kick high in the air. Crichton tapped it back. Sub. 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 Beat one, two, three. And they get over it. To pull him down, but if he saw a bit of daylight there, he would have been off and gone. Well, this is the game that Manly wanted. We spoke to Anthony Seabold. We see Saab breaking tackles, looking for space. Anthony Seabold said before the game. Garrick to Vianga. There's some territory for him down the wing. He takes on Edwards one on one. That's a good tackle by Dylan Edwards. Expansive football by the Seagulls. Ventrovoyevich to Lachlan Croker to Terry Evans now. Oh, Crichton pitched it. He'll have enough pace. Crichton, the intercept king, is going to dash off and score the try. What a remarkable start here. We've had two intercepts. Manly couldn't travel the length of the field, but Crichton pinches that one. What a frantic start to this match. We've had intercepts, line breaks, Harvey Norman replay. The Manly are on the attack. Daly Cherivan sees some space. And then the athleticism, the stretch of Stephen Crichton. He has a tendency to take intercepts in big games at big moments. And he runs the length and settles this half down. What about this, Joey? I loved his positioning. Well, he had his shoulders just turned in and he was waiting. It made Cherry Evans think that he was looking at his go-to man, Ola Kawatu. They just had a stare off. And he comes up front, Stephen Crichton. He was just watching Cherry Evans, watching Ola Kawatu. His body position and his shoulders turned in. Just watch his shoulders turned in and then just goes whack. He's a master at that. Yeah. Well, he was, he was sort of defending two plays. He was looking at old Kawatu. Freddie. Yeah, I think he also could see young Summerton and Fisher-Harris coming across. I reckon Ola Kawatu was covered. He has a great knack and he's a great read. He has a lane he chooses, and if you want to pass there, you take a risk. I've been interesting watching the Manly team, just the way they've started the game. They're excited, obviously, by the tactics. When you've got tactics like this, you can't be giving up the ball, and they've given up the ball three times now. Mm. Well, he scored that try in the grand final, winning the grand final. Well, he saved the grand final, didn't he? Up against uh, the Bunnies. Mm -hmm. playing all the up-tempo football, but they've conceded first and against the run of play. And Stephen Crichton, first try scorer. The ball taken here by Tarouva, and back comes Fisher-Harris. Well, Joey, after that intercept, 
do you keep playing the same tactic for your Manly? Oh, for sure. This is their grand final. If they lose tonight, they can't make the eight. Simple as that. So if you're going to go down, go down swinging. The big test is going to come when they get tied. Can they continue playing the expansive pass, passing game when they're tied and hit the mark, but have keepers, keep people in position? To... Oh, Edwards had his ribs tested again on a Kawatu this time. He's going to need to wrap a mattress around them. Down to Ruben Garrick, who plays Penrith for the seventh time in his career tonight, and he's yet to win a game against them. Oh, he's a rib rattler. He, he rattled a few Melbourne Storm ribs here back in round seven. Remember that night? The hill was going bananas. Yep. Oh. Early ball for Olakawatu up against Jack Cogger. He played the project. He goes simply this time. Tackled by Yo. And away to TCE. Pops it down that right hand edge. Edwards on the fly. Down to Ruva. Running for 160 metres a game on average in 2023. Really at home on the wing, despite primarily being a fullback coming through the system at the Panthers. Now, Cogger with a third tackle kick. He was outside the 40, but gee, that's a confident play. And Cogger's nailed it. Well, they can settle into their rhythm now, the Panthers. It's been a high intensity start. Front foot here, boys. Front a bit of excitement by Manly, and they. They've got the scoreboard pressure going now, Penrith, and this is when they're at their best. They just tighten the screws. Ask the question to Manly, how, how hard and how uncomfortable do you want to get? Ben Trebojevic. Awfully hard to beat at home, Manly. Haven't defeated the Panthers here at 4 by 4 since 2017. Very dominant record. Penrith over Manly over the last few seasons. Here's another shift out to Schuster. Oh, he gets hammered oh, and dragged back. You can see their game plan. They're working to the right hand side of the field. He lost the ball. That will be tackle four. Smith and Mark. Well, this is going to be the test, Billy, what you spoke about. Yeah, just Errors like coming out of trouble. But Middle. They're attacking to the right side, getting big man at Cogger and opening up the field. And off the long shift, trying to get some numbers in and around Hosky, and is obviously defending out of position. Yeah, he did a great job last week against the Melbourne Storm. He's a back row defending in the centres. So understandably, the Manly Seagulls trying to attack that area, but you see here Nathan Cleary with three other attackers on the left-hand side. Cleary wrapped up. Telstra has some of the best defence in the business, tackling millions of cyber threats uh, every day. Manly's defence needs to be at its best here now. With the Panthers 12 metres short. Already one try on the board. Summited. He's got seven tries in New South Wales Cup Rugby League this year, and he's won six again for his team. Smart play for the first gamer. Restarts the tackle count. All set from Cogger to Cleary. There's the two sevens together. All Kelly comes in and goes whack. Cleary plays it on the 10th. Yo has been immense in the early parts. It's a good battle between he and Jack Trebojevic. Cogger has uh, taken a deviation. It's picked up by Crichton. And the call of Knox first. The call of knock-on has come knock late Panthers. against Penrith. Yeah, just watching Luke Summerton out of dummy half. The Panthers have got two six to go. Here's the error. Cleary to Cogger. And just clips the arm of Scott Sorensen. But just watching Summerton out of dummy half. 
He's, he's got a little bit of craft. Or as you call it, Joey Trickery. He looks nice and sharp out of dummy half. Throws a good ball. Has created two six to goes already for the Panthers. Shot clock off. In Lachlan. Break. There's Parker. He does have a win over the Panthers. One of only four Manly players out there to have tasted success against this mountain men machine, if you like. Keep on winning games and keep on demoralising oppositions. Terry Evans wanted a six again for there. He didn't get one. They take off down the short side. Garrick with it now. Lindsay Smith in defence. DCE working with Schuster. Venture boy a bit from a long way back. Tot or missed him, but they all came over to help. Once again, trying to find the line, trying to get that ball out. So why would they be looking to do that, Andrew? Oh, just mix up the speed of the game. You heard Anthony Seabold talking about don't want to get in the arm wrestle. Because Penrith just know their game and they're so fit and they're so efficient. Use their outside backs to get forward, as that, we're seeing now. That's a big strength of the Panthers game, isn't it? That cycle game and getting their back three, their back five, running the football. Yes, ready? Yeah, just on uh, Young Summerton. Grew up around the Hills area, played for the Hills Bulls, went down to the Roosters, played junior reps for Parramatta and has been out of Penrith for the last couple of years. Apparently the tape's around the head because he's seen Mitch Kenny's ears and he doesn't want cauliflower ears like him. Wise move. Great to see him get an opportunity after such a, a uh, diverse path through to first grade. Penalty. First one of the game for Manly and the fans appreciate that. I think that. you can do better to make an effort there, Isaiah. I think you can make more of an effort there, mate. He's had 21 games in New South Wales Cup football this year, Luke Summerton. Plays on average around an hour. And they've got Sonny Luke, obviously, so he'll get through the tough stuff, and presumably Sonny Luke will come on when the sting's out of the game. Yeah, he might want to change positions if he doesn't want cauliflower it is. <laughs> Old time hookers are saying cauliflower ears. You've seen nothing. <laughs> so Kepi actually spent a couple of weeks out of the top grade. And he's had two games back off the bench starting tonight. First time since round 16 he's been in the starting lineup. Sean Kepi, always aggressive. Halfway now, where he plays it to Croker. Cherry Evans, out to Garrick. Great tackle. Now Cherry Evans himself trying to spark his team with the ball. Back to Croker. Last tackle, Isaiah. back, all the way. Come and go, last. Played it quickly. DCE, three touches in three plays. Over the top it goes. Mayunga's chasing. Edwards is back there. He can't evade them. The fullback's nailed in the end goal. Good kick, spirited chase. A yeah, nice ball movement again, side to side. In the last play, he stands up, the skipper, and he gets a good result. Time your run, Stephen. Time it. They're going long. Oh, he's tried the worm burner kick. It didn't work. It landed safely with Sabu. Gets dumped. What a great tackle. Stephen Crichton. That was old school. Now Sipley. He beats Summerton. He's got Manley within five metres. Can they knock a try over here and, and get themselves going for the evening? Olikawatu is held in the tackle of... Sorensen, they get six more tackles. It goes to Jake Trebojevic, short to Kepi. Get up now, Lindsay. Mark is square. Garrick and Cherry Evans barking instructions in the back play. They're going to try to to uh, barge their way there. They did simply try. In the tackle one, Ash. Have Isaiah Yo offside at marker. Simply has scored. 
bang down the front door. Yeah, they earned the field position, Manly. And then too strong close to the line. Sibley on Summerton. They go short, Harvey Norman replay. One-on-one -on -one with Summerton. He just throws a couple of Panthers players off. Burrows down and gets low to the ground. It's off Sibley. You see 26, Summerton just can't get underneath the football. And Manly hit the scoreboard. It's really good play. Sibley, he saw the smaller man in the defensive line. Summerton overcalled the play. You get those big men one-on-one -on -one close to that line. It's so hard to stop. Whether they can get a dummy half in front of them, or they can find a fullback defending in the front line. He gets it both. Gets it. I think he called Isaiah Yo offside there. Freddie. Well, he actually ran through Summerton a couple of tackles earlier. And then I think he saw him in the line again, and it just looked too good to be true. But I enjoy the leadership of Daly Cherry Evans. Bit of a shaky start from the 5'8". There's a bit of pressure on him tonight. He just, in that last couple of sets, he just took over. Just to bring it to six all, no problem. defensive line in the competition to crack and yet Tom Sibley has bashed down the wall and Manly are on the board and we're locked up at six each after 20 minutes. Jack Trevojevic there, Summerton. in the front line, so it makes him an obvious target. Jerry Evans. Big test tonight, Jack Cogger. Olakowatu is getting at him. Oh, Schuster, I'll try to rough him up again. Jerry Evans from inside 40. Taruba poised. And now powering. Short, let go here. Back up, mate. Top one. Runs for over 200 metres a game. First inning change for Penrith. Lindsay Smith off. Oh, good tackle. Schuster. A dumping shot on Hosky. Moses Leota's out there. Charging into the line, he got it away to Summerton. Summerton not sure where to look here. Last he cuts on the best. speed, but it couldn't be Jake. Clearing. Up in the air. Sorensen charging. Well taken, Saab. Oh, we got hit hard by Fisher Harris. He ran straight into James Fisher Harris. <laughs> Thought he was running the lake. Yeah. yeah. You could hear that Saab's handbrake from here. <laughs> You're off to the panel beater after that one. Oh. Running to Fisher Harris, no thank you. Not making any great yardage here, Manly. Kemi looking to change that. That's a good burst from the prop. And Cherry Evans under a bit of pressure from Leota. Flat kick and it's taken on the fly by Edwards and they're going to be in good field position here. Yeah, he's got great positional play, Dylan Edwards. Always finds himself in the right position, attacking the ball. Picked up about 25 metres off, off the reception there. Oh, it's a river. He's gone winger. Winger and they've made 30 metres. That was a mighty running. Bounding onto the ball there. Now Hosky. 
handy having a player who's usually a back rower in the centres to take those yardage carries as well. Leary with a dummy and run. He got Berry, great tackle. Amole Olukowatu. Right off the left boot, what a beautiful kick, and Garrick just held it on his fingertips and got in the field of play. Gee, that was great touch by Bright, wasn't it? I know he's a natural left foot kicker, but he was, he was really congested. Class. Thread the needle. Oh, oh, Kohler now. Long ball, Terry Evans, and Garrick says, why me? That's tackle four on the 10-metre line. A surging defensive set by the Panthers. What can they do to pick up some territory? They shift to Parker. He's tackled by Hosking. And the kick will have to come here from before their 20-metre line. And DC lines up the top and wobbles down mid off. The bounce helped. That comes Edwards. Turned out okay, didn't it? The crowd just starting to swell in their uh, in their involvement here. Oh, we got a penalty against the Panthers for obstruction. I think Stephen Crichton was in front of the play the ball. All oh, right, 35. Yep. So Stephen Crichton was still getting back on side. Ah. You saw that stat before. Yeah, see See Stephen Crichton mate. not behind the play the ball. Okay. Oh, and he gets the footy. Okay. It was a stat before. Four and a half minutes since the last stoppage. They get a bit of a stop there. Front foot. Front foot. Oh. A lot of the players are out on their feet before that penalty. Well, that that's an un penrith like penalty, that one, which gives Manly possession inside the red zone. Played to Croker. Away to Cherry Evans. He can pull them all now. Gives them real energy off the bench, and that's his first involvement of the game. They're nine metres out, the ball swept right to Cherry Evans, and Schuster's come from left to right hand side, but they've paid him close attention tonight. Now, Sonny Luke's got on the field, so Summerton's come to the bench. Meantime, Danny Cherry Evans feeds it to Ben Trevojevic, who did well to handle that. Last tackle. They stack this left-hand side. Cherry Evans, Garrick! I think it's a try! Yep. Ruben Garrick was a spectacular put-down. Yeah, Cherry Evans handling the ball two and three times in that set of six. Normally on the right side, playing with other Kawatu. Comes to the left side, Harvey Norman replay. Look at that, just the way he looked in. Looked like he's going to kick, and then comes off his right foot. Watch this, he looks in. Comes back off his right foot and then finds space for Garrick, and he does well to get that ball down. And he does incredibly well to get the ball over his head. This will show it beautifully. Harvey Norman replay. Ruben Garrick just stretches out over the top of his head. Oh, how good is that? This all came off the, the play, the penalty from Stephen Crichton, not getting back behind the play the ball and receiving the football. Down to you, Freddie. Well, I spoke about it before the last try. Daly Terry Evans has just stood up. He has just taken the steering wheel and guiding this team around. You can just see Josh Schuster in the background just getting his thoughts together and everyone's just gathering around. Beautiful bit of play here. Looked inside. Just back that his fullback was going to keep running into the hole. Run over a pretty good defender, Liam Martin. But the halfback, he's just taken control. We'll see how far he can go with that. Or well, they're going after it. Mm. It's a great answer back after conceding the first try. Yeah, to overcome the disappointment, they started brilliantly, the Manly Seagulls. And then an intercept try to Stephen Crichton. Now they've gone back to back. Spot. Ruben Garrick to make it 12 6. Spot.
Wait for that clock, mate. It's 10 seconds. Five. He's an underrated player, Ruben Garrick. That was a great put down. Manly 12, Panthers 6. Now, if this game runs to averages, the Panthers won't concede any more points in this game. He's summoning, he's got an ankle. So, uh, Sonny Luke might be asked to play a little longer than was initially forecast. we we'll get Brad Danica to check on all of that downstairs. Another epic season of the block is here. Five feisty new blockhead couples are travelling back in time to battle it out for the block's best houses yet. Sunday from 7 o'clock, right here on 9. Cherry Evans has been tackled twice that whole set of six. He's having a crack tonight, the captain. Garrick in the first receiver. It's off a Panther leg. It's picked up by Edwards. They've been trying to rough him up and... Uh, Tackled gently by Jake Trebojevic, but tackled all the same. Now top off. Gee, that's a run. Aaron, release it. Almost Jake. Keep holding him all way. Oh, Hosking. Big tackle. Who's that? Lock broker. His dad played a lot of football here at Four Pines Brookie, didn't he? The mule. He was a favourite for years. Oh, he was a cult figure, wasn't he? 40-20. Oh, whoop, whoop, off legs, went back. Wayana comes tearing back. Eisenhuth on the ground, I think two for Penrith now, so another change in the middle. Oh, they tried to shift, that looked a bit clunky. What a great ball. Clunky, it's been very nice. That's a lot of Kawahu. Trundling up the middle as he does. Better set this one. So he's going to kick on tackle four. He's going to kick away from Edwards. The wingers hadn't dropped back yet. And Edwards is trying to position top ball, but he takes the tackle. Yeah, he went down the right hand side of the play, the ball, Cherry Evans, and just magnified it, magnified the space on the other side, hooked it back across his body, found a whole heap of grass. He likes that kick, Daly. Super half a footy. Kick start round 24. Here on Nine's Wide World of Sports, it is wall to wall footy. Now until grand final day, we've got NRL action four days a week, all the NRLW. You could ask for no more. And this is a great way to launch this weekend's action. Cleary into the air. Martin chasing and chasing hard and he nearly got a catch on it. He almost controlled that mark. There's a better back rower to chase kicks in the game. Liam Martin. Got so much enthusiasm to chase kicks. Nearly came up with that one. Here's the shift again. Out to Garrick. Up against Sorensen. Danica, some breaking news. Uh, I've just confirmed with the Penrith Panthers medical staff about Luke Summerton. They're saying that it was a scheduled change. Uh, he was trod on, uh, but they are just doing some running repairs on uh, his ankle. He's just getting it retaped, and he will be back into the action tonight. Thanks, Danica. 40-20. Doesn't have the legs. Bounces awkwardly, though. Top ball. Look at DC. He's pretty down after his own kick. He's trying to carry this team by himself. Great offload. And Cleary spins it straight away to Edwards. Edwards out to Taruba. They weren't expecting that, the manly defence, and now Taruba's dancing with them and zigging and zagging. Garrick's in the main line here. There's no one at the back. I wonder if Cleary spotted that. Goes to Martin. He's tackled firstly by Woods and then Bullet Ball, but they can't bring him down. Down inside the 20. Penrith poise. Go Cleary. 
Dumps a short pass to Sorensen, who's tackled really well around the legs by Kawatu. Play five, Sonny Luke, Nathan Cleary, dummies. Beat one, couldn't beat another. He's going to go to ground within a metre out from Manly's line. Marcus Square, hold here, Liam. Defending well. Oh. It was a great tackle, a previous tackle by Ola Kawatu. Oh, he got in behind Cherry Evans, but the big back rower, oh. he was there in cover. Yep, yep. Here's the tackle here, bottom of the screen. Great tackle for a big man. Just he can get down low. Incredibly agile. Again. And the ball to Saab. Saab goes for the accelerator. And we had Garrick up the middle too. He didn't know he was there. He may have kicked it if he did. Now Cola, they don't want for speed on that side of the ground. Come left. Schuster kicks ahead. Bayanga's after it. Bayanga's going to. Oh, the ball that bounced infield, so it bounced for him. Parker's got the ball back. Well, the ball's going out. The ball's bouncing for Manly tonight. It's going to be one of those nights. Croker, Terry Evans. He couldn't go. Well, he gave the pass away there after Ola Kawatu had gone in front of him, and then they kick, and well, that, that wasn't part of the playbook. Well, it was Stephen Crichton in the pink headgear. He came up in the, in the passing lane once again. Here's the kick by Schuster. Vane oh. missed it. Stays in the field of play. But Stephen Crichton, once again, up in the passing lane of Daly Cherry Evans. This time he doesn't pull the trigger. Now how things in front. If you've got that centre coming up past the half defensive like Stephen Crichton is doing, there's a lot of pressure on your defence on your half, which is, which is in that position, Jack Cogger. That lane for Alakawatu to go in between Cogger and, and Stephen Crichton. Leota with a typically venomous charge. This is a dangerous part of the game for Manly. They've probably had the better of the first half. They've certainly got the better of the scoreboard. With a lot of that work, can be knocked back if Penrith score here, and there you go. It was a good ball from Yo. He was nearly away at Leo. Oh, oh, Schuster. Really Schuster went so, all mate. in. He came right, came right out of the line. Watch Schuster bottom of screen. He comes right out. And then Ben Trebojevic on the inside, he turned in. Opened up. Oh, he scores. Look at that. He's nearly in. Yeah, that highlights Jose Yo's ball playing ability. He saw the opportunity. All in, Lachlan. Just gravitated off. towards it. Oh, Moses Leota just couldn't handle the pass. Let up here, Scott, hold with us. I love the Jag one before half time, man. Well, we're fortunate they didn't concede one there. Second tackle kick. He's gone the banana. He's tried to shape that. Yeah. Which you saw the when ball. the ball hit the ground. Play the it ball. went at right angle straight towards Middle the sideline. He the hits ball. right across the ball. It's that banana shape on it. He is having a red up crack tonight, Cherry. He's pulling out all the tricks, isn't he? Crosskick. Deep venture, Boyevich. Wrapped up by Croker. Ball played to Sonny Luke. Now Moses Leota. Gallops over the halfway. Wants to offload. He was in heavy traffic. So takes the ball to ground. Yo and Cleary. Sorensen. Tackled strongly. Steve Madison on the park now for Manly. And now Yo again. Last tackle. Is there a Cleary cliffhanger coming? The end over end one. Martin's after it again. Mayanga's down there. There's a contest. Martin got it back. It's a Penrith ball. It's six more tackles. Nathan didn't know about it. He's got it back anyway. He had to knock that on. He Nathan clear it. got him shot. Sonny Luke fires it out wide. Catch and pass. Crichton in the 
corner. It's a try to Penrith. There's, there's some contention about it, though. Sorry, tackle one. But it's up. They can't oh, review the clearing uh, collect because there's been a play the ball after that, and you can only go back to the play the ball. Yeah, there's a few question marks around this. You see Liam Martin. Well, there's a well, chance that well, he knocks it on. That's a knock on. And then is he tackled? He's tackled. <laughs> and, then and then Nathan, Nathan knocks it on. But they can't rule on that. What, what got them this try is the quality of pass. This one here, Sonny Luke fires the bullet. And then another lovely pass here out in front. Scott Sorensen. Just the space was out there. Sonny Luke went the wrong way to start with and then fires the bullet to Sorensen. Sorensen, nice clean pass out in front. And Stephen Crichton, he finishes off the work. Two quality passes. A bit of luck involved before that, but it was the quality of pass by Sonny Luke and Scott Sorensen that took advantage of the space. There's a couple of unhappy Manly fans right in front of Andrew Johns. They think you're, they think you're the bunker man, Joey. Yeah. I get into Brad Fittler. Freddie, what do you think that'll do to the minds of the Manly players, that last try right on half time? Well, the bloke leading the show, Cherry Evans, he's not going to be perturbed by that. He's going to keep coming without a doubt. Maybe some of the other players might be put off because they would have seen some doubt over a few of those plays. Like you said, the Liam Martin, they would have looked at the replay, felt hard done by. And if they dwell on that, they'll end up 30. But I think their captain's, he's having a game tonight. I think he'll redirect their thoughts straight away. And I feel like uh, it's going to be tough. They're going to be into a breeze in the second half. But I've got no doubt he's in for a big game tonight. Yeah, that try on halftime, it's, it's often pivotal. Well, he's straight into the breeze here, Nathan. He'll keep this really low, try to punch it through. Too good. What a kick. Yep. Make sure you time your run. Make sure you time it. Uh, come up a bit, come up a bit, Ferns. Come up a bit, Ferns. Gotta wait for the clock. Five seconds, keep coming, Ferns. Time it. 12 each. Cracking game. Whoa. Whoa. Jeez, that wasn't the option. It gives, gives Nathan clear an opportunity for a two point field goal here. Field goal. Well, you just watch Nathan go to work. We'll get through the set. If nothing's happening, he'll have a crack at a two point field goal. Good run. That was ridiculous. Yo, Leona trying to bust through. Now, where's Cleary? He's getting himself in position. Tackle number four. They've got themselves organised, the Panthers, straight into formation. Cleary now into the line. And Pogger, they set up a two on one there. He fired it out to Taruva. They're too far away from the post for a, for a field goal, are they? The time. He's brought himself back deeper. Cleary, it's a wobbly kick. It wasn't a good strike, and it tumbles over the back. Front foot. Now he's kicked it. Gary's kicked it out, but the sirens beat them all. Hey? Do they get, a, do they get one play here? Yep. Restart, guys. Yeah. Well, the ball, Not the restart. the ball went out before the siren. It's a uh, play the ball, Robbo, yeah? Robbo? Right. So... Strap. Scrum. Because that what? kick went Why out, start, which Robo? you can do if you kick the ball out in the fashion that Garrick did, it's it's you retain possession where the ball okay. went out. Guys, but that's it. It's <laughs> you've got to get a 40-20 for your team to, to get the restart, mate. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was clear as mud. Uh, but the, the upshot is it's <laughs> half time. Well, this is enjoyable. A buoyant manly team challenging if, the Panthers. It's 12 all at the break. But not on the last. Okay. Don't go early. Ruben Gary resumes the battle. It's a 
a shallowish restart. It's taken by Taruva. And Matt Eisenhuth comes running back for the Panthers, who are missing Jerome Luai and Mitch Kenny, mainstays of their team and key members of their spine. had an enormous game. He is a machine. Oh, he might have Number taken three. one down with him here. Ben Trebojevic has Easy, been Dylan, whacked. Dylan, Edwards Dylan. He's having a, he's having Dylan. a push and shout. Easy. Verbal at least with Dean Madison. Okay, we've got it, Dylan. Dean. Is this uh, okay. Ben Trebojevic down? Yeah. yeah. Just take him a little bit Something of time. must have happened with Dean Madison because yeah. Dylan Edwards, he, he's not a player to really react. Oh, oh. Ben Draboyevich has copped a, an accidental knee by his own teammate. See as he goes down. Oh, oh, that's bad. Yes, there we go. He's got a HIA. Ow. Just wait, Nathan. Might be a high tackle by Dean Madison. This might be a double blow. Penalty and yeah, HIA we're, we're for we're Ben Draboyevich. So Kalma Tuilangi will be a straight swap for him. Just, Boy, wasn't it a good run? A oh. for, uh, he scatters them. And it was, although it might be somewhat controversial, he was the man down there to contest that kick yeah. before half time. Oh, he's got some enthusiasm about his game. Good. Liam Martin. Panthers take the tap. Now he was sitting back waiting for a kick. Enthusiasm from Martin, aggression from Leota. Eisenhuth, he's a real Mr. Fix-It for this Panthers outfit. Now Yo, he's been very strong too. 21 metres out, ball goes to Cleary on the right-hand side. And Leoda back underneath. And running freely, tackled by Madison. Pogger first receiver, Crichton back on the angle, spilt the ball, picked up Ola Kowatu, wants a speed man, and they don't get any speedier than Jason Saab, and Cogger's back there to drag him to ground. As soon as Ola Kowatu got that ball, he was thinking, where's Saab, where's Kola? And I think the scramble was there. Through the hands again, Garrick and Parker, great tackle. Brian Topoff, who's lost the headgear. Yeah, Brad Parker last week, he got a he got a bad Tuckle knock to two. the head. The Joseph, Joseph Manu try, remember we went straight over the top of him. You see that mark at the right eye, you see the blood in the eye. Yeah. It was Hosking down low. Yep. Oh yeah, look at the head. Yeah. To over the top. I think I think it's the ground. It's yeah, the back, back of the, of the head. Doing a HO, mate. Oh. oh. Gee. They might lose another one. Sorry, yeah, I lost the last yeah, bit real firm under. surface here at Brookvale now. It wasn't always firm, but it's firm now. So Parker just consulting with the trainer. Uh, Danica, in the meantime. It has been a tough couple of minutes for the Manly Seagulls. Uh, ben Trebojevic, we just had confirmation that he's been classified as showing Category 2 symptoms. Uh, so he is still a chance of returning into the action tonight. He'll have to go through the protocol over the next 15 minutes. We can see now Brad Parker coming from the field with the HIA as well. Which is not what they wanted after half time. So Jake's going to have to run out there and, and play the rest of the game, you'd think. Yeah, he won't be going to the centres. Dean Madison will move <laughs> over to the left centre. And, and Jake will stay in the middle of the field. We couldn't see Jake running onto, a, running onto a ball through a gap. He'd give it a go. But no. <laughs> Drop the hip and steamrolled Cogger. Hell, the boy bits for Bullimore. This is promising by Manley. They work it up within 19 at the line now. It comes to DCE. Back to Olakawatu. He's beaten them again. He's nearly through the last line. That's that line he loves running off Cherry Evans. Little drop play. He beat Sonny Luke that time. Oh, that didn't work. Easy, easy. Hand over there. Yeah, Ola Kowatu sits on this drop line, and what he does, he tucks in tighter. 
And when Cherry Evans goes, he just takes his, his line and just keeps running straight. So if he stays wider, he has to go back in and straighten. On that drop line, it gets deeper and tighter to Cherry Evans. So he just pretty much runs straight with that inside pass. And he is a weapon. That's the side. That right-hand side with Olofuatu and Kola. And you've got Saab on the wing. They can get that to fire. Cherry Evans. Eisenhoof, there's a strong charge. And Yo drags to Alangi with him. Cleary kicks through his man Martin. There's a manly wall in front of him. He's still trying to get a catch on it. He knocked it on. Hand over. And they're all worried about him. You could hear him tipping, yeah. tipping each other, couldn't you? Yeah. He loves chasing kicks. I reckon if you took him down the park, you'd chase the ball. you get one of those ball wanger things that they, they use with the dogs. Oh, yeah, the, ball, the, the ball sticks. Jeez. Liam Martin would run after him. Got me excited, man. <laughs> woof, woof. You've got a catch, Harry. It would be no good to you. Daisy got. I never thought that. The ball was a cat. Here goes, not mine. Here goes Woods. It's not mine. Last tackle. Terry Evans. Saab's a weapon in the air. He's got a real height advantage, but they don't let him get to the ball. He's ten Jake Holt. They haven't really had the field position to, to kick the sub over to Ruby no. have they? I thought coming in and out, I thought they could jag one or two off the, off the kicks because, as you said, the, the Penrith wingers aren't that tall. Saab, what's it, 6'6"? Six, six? Yeah, it's the strength of Penrith, but they, oh. they don't allow you in that field position. Oh, Hosky nearly got clipped as he was going to ground. Edwards wanted an offside penalty, didn't get one, and clear he's waiting. Anthony Seabold didn't want to get in the arm wrestle. Oh, he's picked straight away, it's a kicking duel! We're back to 1989! What just happened? And now Edwards is running away, and Crichton's got the ball, and back for Taruba! Taruba, he's gone straight through them! They're appealing for an obstruction. A few of the Manly players. Taruba puts it down easy, under the easy, post. Easy, easy. Walk away. Now Walk Bayer away. Is blowing up. Walk away. He's hey. taking on two of the Penrith boys himself. You're out, man. Come Ray. Off. Well, this is the most Sorry. bizarre right. passage of play tie, of 2023. Well, Ruben guys. Garrick had a go. flashback. He thought he was Gray Moody playing a 1978. Time on. It's premeditated. It's a kick for Saab. Harvey Norman replay. <laughs> and you can see Saab. But you do that when Dylan Edwards, or the, the fullback, is in the kick chase. He's back there waiting for the ball. Now, what happens with Taruva? Manly players are appealing. He's coggering the line here. Well, well, Croker did get a bump. It wasn't much of a bump. Surely they can't take this off. bit of push and shove after the try but I, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. <laughs> well, Ruben Garrick did play rugby union coming through. I don't know whether he was channeling a bit of that. Now, now they're looking. Is the manly player prevented from making a tackle because the Panther is stationary? Just watch number nine. Lachlan Croker. He just comes in screen there. No. No way. No. What was Aaron Woods doing? What's he tackling? A 
it's, it's, it's just time off, mate, for a minute 20. Try's been confirmed. Well, Brad Fittler, I didn't expect to come here and see the kicking jewel returning to rugby league. Well, I've loved their approach, Manly. It's been very entertaining, and some of it's come off, and I think it's, it's been great. And it's been the way for them to beat Penrith to play. But to kick on first tackle against a team that get behind the ball quicker than any other team is a little tactic too far. So here it is. Edwards gets it back after Garrett kicked up. I mean, Saab did chase it, but he didn't really look up and see the pink jumpers had already got back there. Taruva powers away to score. Fighting, Ruben. He does a lot of work. Taruva, that's 200 metres he's run for now. The most out of any player on the field. Nothing of him. He is all hard. Oh, he's done this all year. Yeah. yeah. This isn't a fluke. He knows his game. He knows how he can contribute to the Panthers. He's had a wonderful season. Now Mark. It's a more Terrier. He's made plenty of metres again this evening. So the Panthers about to get on top of the arm wrestle. Great ball, Sorensen. He did well to catch that too. It was above his head. They wanted a penalty. They didn't get one. Sonny Luke runs, kicks to the in goal. It's bobbling around. It's bobbling around. The Panthers kept it in. This might be a try. Okay. We're coming back to tackle one. I have no try. There is contact from Moses on Garrick, but I believe it's when Garrick is playing at the ball. We then want to look and see if Moses knocks on. That's all I've got all back from him. It's everywhere, Moses Leota. Can't stay out of the play. Penrith kick chaser onside. Ball's knocked backwards from Lachlan Croker. Knocked backwards again from Ruben Garrick. Still knocked backwards from Ruben Garrick. It's play on at this stage. Well, it pushes him the out the way. The tackle count is reset. It pushes him out of the way. He's not yeah. Garrick's pushed out of the way. And then he drops the ball anyway. Moses Leota knocks the ball on in the in goal area. We have a decision. So... Yeah, no worries. Just wait for the whistle, Daly. Front foot, guys. Front foot. Be danger signs though. Danica, more news. Yes, this is not good news for the Sea Eagles. They bunker took a while to review Brad Parker's head knock, and they've just officially confirmed that he's ruled out for the remainder of the match, saying that he's showing category one symptoms. Okay, well, it's two weeks in a row. And you could see that blood in his eye from last week's contact. Jerry Evans, there's a hole, tries to burst through it. What I'm seeing off Jerry Evans tonight is, the ball goes wide, is what I want to see off Schuster moving forward. We know the talent Schuster's got. You want to watch this game and watch what his skipper's doing. And this is the end goal for Josh Schuster. Jerry Evans, a kick towards Saab, top his back, and then the Panthers get it back. Now you saw a shot of Jake Arthur, who's 18th player. If Ben Trebojevic is ruled out of the game, he can be activated because uh, two HIAs means now that you can have access to your 18th man. Tackle. Great shot. Danica. Yes, well, that has just been confirmed. Ben Trebojevic has just failed his head injury assessment, so Jake Arthur has been activated as 18th man, and he'll be into the action. Okay. 
Jake Arthur fit into the equation. He obviously play in the halves. I think he could play it at lock. Maybe Schuster goes to a back row, does it? Picked by Cleary. Tumbling late, taken by Garrett. Ray, Rayana, the Panthers down there with Leota leading the way. He's had an inspired go. Moses Leota starting from the bench and stung the young winger. Now Jason Saab doing some donkey work. Schuster and Garrick. Madison, great ball. Oh, left behind. Gee, that was a good pass. Course, really. Nearly stuck there. Here's Viana. Up the middle of the field. A little bit of space on that left-hand side. And Madison. The ball goes to Schuster. He plays nice and straight. Preserves the space. Madison finds himself in a little bit of clear running room and then flicks the ball back inside. And big Raymond. Just couldn't handle it. Oh, just to the left a little bit. Leaves the door open for the Panthers. This is a big set of six for Manly. And they've got to hold them out. You get the feeling. So they get one here, Penrith. Odd gates could really open up. Cleary doing the point duty, and then he brings Cogger back underneath. And then uh, Dylan Edwards now. Penalty Penrith, late contact. Oh, oh, there's sure they wanted it. There was a tackle on late Cogger contact. from Jake Trebrojevic in back play. It was a lifting tackle. Okay. I don't think it was anything. Yep. Dangerous lift, position as well. Anything too dangerous. Uh, Isaiah. But he two. went up. I'll take the, the shot on. here. I'll take the shot at penalty. So an eight-point gap in the balance here. Cleary from in front. You can imagine he'll kick this with relative ease. I made the comment they might not have wanted that penalty. They'll take an eight-point gap, but they were, they were looking like they were going to score there. Yeah, playing with the minds of the Manly Seagulls here and pushing it out further than a converted try. Successful at the move, making Peter. Panthers lead the Seagulls 20 points to 12. There's no clock here, Ruben. We're right to go. Stay behind, guys. Oh, it looks a little different again, Hendo. Panthers by eight. The 2023 NRL and NRLW Telstra Premiership Grand Finals are on at a core stadium. Sunday, October 1. Don't miss your chance to witness history. Head to nrl.com slash tickets to get your grand final seats now. Now with all this ball movement from Manly, Tolu Kola has hardly even seen it. Dangerous ball runner. You know the speed that Kola possesses. To find him some ball. Yo, starting to roll the rock. Playing the ball really quick, Penrith. Man, the depth on that kick, perfect. And uh, Garrick runs hard back to to short of his own 20 metre line. That points the margin. Uh, Manly, oh, that will help. Well, Panthers too 
quickly up in defence. Well, it didn't help. He balked when he played the ball there, Ruben Garrick. Let's see what they got, Manly. You're right, Bill. Uh, Bill, they've got to come to this right side more. Olakowatu and Cole. Jerry Evans beats Stephen Crichton. He's shot everything tonight. Six more. Six more tackles. Leota. A bit overzealous there. A great chance for the Seagulls now, and the crowd senses that. And it goes to the weapon on the right, Hamani Olakowatu. That's the 10 metre line. This is Croker. This is Schuster. Keeps the ball alive. Got it back to Woods. Surrender! Here's Tenra. Hold. Go three. Olakowatu with another carry. Good tackle by Sonny Luke and help by Scott Sorensen. Terry Evans switches. Here's Kohler. Up against Cogger. They get to play five. They're set out to the left hand side. Croker's waiting for it. Terry Evans kicks the wall. Oh dear. Yeah, smart play, Moses Leota. Newton's last tackle. He's got himself down nice and low. And lands on the ball. He's got an ability to disrupt, to disrupt your attack on the Penrith Panthers. They shoot out of the line and shut plays down. And Set. Cherry has just made three tackles on the road. Talking about his attack defensively, he's everywhere also. He's having a crack daily. Fisher Harris back on the ground. Good defensive set by Manley. But a clearance from Cleary. Taken on the full by Vayanga. Eight metres out from the halfway. Merely got to try to find a try. And soon, to see if they can get back on that roll. They, they were certainly humming in the first half. The Panthers have thrown the fire blanket over them. So come to this side, they need Reuben Garrett in and around Ola Kawatu and Kola. From, oh, it's forward, says the referee. That was marginal. Shot clock on. Yeah, it was forward. <laughs> yes, Brad. I think Manly heard that the ball had to get to Ola Kawatu. It's just that the last three times he's got it. The defence has been ready. You know, Scott Sorensen is standing right there. Obviously, he's got a job to go out to look after Olakowatu. Need to get him on a quick play of the ball or somewhere where he can pull Sorensen out of the equation and get him on to Cogger. Uh, head in, Ruben. Wally. Break. Still cold, Billy. I know he's played a fair bit of fullback as well. Garrick, very solid in that position. Here's another monstrous run by Martin, but in order to get some more ball to, would you think about throwing him at fullback? Yeah, yeah, that could be a tactic. Just put him back there for a couple of sets, getting a read of football. Even set starts, but penalties, yeah. scrums, and attacking areas. He so needs more ball. He needs more ball. So he needs, he needs to get into the game. They drag the defence in here. Edwards trying to hold Madison off, but can't. with another run. Look at that for Footler. My goodness, he's had a game tonight. He's down inside the 20. There he attacks a short side. Hosking lost the ball. And over. And now a big Ray Vianga comes in from the wing and goes back. Front foot here. Good defensive read there from Ray. Front foot. Vianga. Hold here, Saw Sonny. the threat. Hold front. Watch this. Gets up. Up under the ball. Hanging on. Yeah, he's only played half a dozen NRL games, Raymond Vianna. But he's done that a few times. Yeah. 
and likes the contact side of this game. So Manly outside backs, so it's, it's in their DNA, really. Come in and let fly. Steve Maddow. George Tafua. Georgie. Stay away from George. Did you get to food, Billy, or were you too fast on your feet? Stay away from George. Rush George. Oh, no, they've lost it. Well, they haven't, they haven't got the extra man. They need, they need the fullback. They need Ruben Garrett coming around on those plays. Yeah, just, just watch Stephen Crichton's football smarts here in defence. Just the ability to read the play. The pink headgear. Stephen Crichton gets up there, keeps his feet underneath him, and then moves on the pass, and then takes the time away from Olakowatu. He doesn't let Olakowatu get the catch and get his momentum up. He takes the time away from Olakowatu for taking his feet to the tackle and putting him under pressure. Smart player, Stephen Crichton. Because they haven't got Ruben Garrick there, they're not creating the extra man. There's no overlap. This is big right now. Inside the last 20 minutes, the Panthers by eight. More points makes it extremely difficult for Manly. James Fisher-Harris tackled by Jack Trebojevic. Six more tackles. Sonny Luke looks one way. Brings Cleary back underneath. They've got a full set to play with Cleary. Dummies runs. Can't get there. Played it super quick. Yo. Pivots out of the tackle. Fisher-Harris plays on. Edwards with it. Ball out to Hosky. They're going to play hot potato. Try to pull Manley's defence out of order. Cleary. And Lindsay Smith. After all that ball boom, they've lost 10 metres. Played to Luke. Fisher Harris steams into Croker. Here in Tiger and Sorensen. Good defence. They came rushing in, but there was assistance from the inside, and it came in the shape of Sipley. Now Cleary, now Edwards, now Hoske! He got by Strikes again. Smith with a tap back. Cleary over the top. More tackles. Six of them to be precise. Crichton's got it back. He got Fayunged. Bang! What a tackle! Keep that one. They'll be hard to hold out here, you think, after all this possession. Yo, Edwards, Hosking, To'o, To'o, a try to To'o in the corner. Yeah, you don't stop Ryan To'o that close to the line. Beautiful hands here by Zach Hosking. We've mentioned a few times a back row playing in the centre has done a wonderful job for the Panthers over the last few weeks. Harvey Norman replay, just watch. A boom. Yeah, that was the earlier one. He got back on his feet, Zach Hosking, and gets the ball here. Just watch the hands, catch pass, Edwards, Hosking, and then Brian Tyo, too close to the line. Good footwork, built low to the ground, plenty of power. He can score from that far out. Brian and the Panthers, they put it beyond reach. They just know how to win, don't they? Key players out. Players busted. The opposition turned up the play. They just know how to win. Even Ready? Geez, you've given up on Manly early. 16 minutes to go, boys. They haven't given, given up on them. I'm just saying they know They're how to win. Four points park. There's still 16 minutes to go. No one's won, Andrew. Mate, please don't call me Andrew. <laughs> the only person who calls me Andrew is mum when I'm in trouble. Bradley. And the cat. So Brian Toto, he's been in great try scoring form. That's seven in his last five games. Well, the cat nibbles at me earlobe, earlobes early in the morning. Oh. So I get up and feed. Well, I think it's a cat. <laughs> <laughs> She wants to be fed early. <laughs> now to 
as the engineer a comeback and now the skipper. It's a big kick. For a 14 point lead. He's missed it. Panthers 24, Manly 12, short kick of Crichton has been awesome again tonight. He's having his best season. He's been wonderful. And Panther black, Panther pink, the New South Wales blue. Our Aussie boomers returning to Australia to take on the world, stacked with NBA stars including Paddy Mills and Josh Giddy. Four blockbuster matches against Brazil, Venezuela, South Sudan and France as they start their journey to Paris 2024. And it all starts on Monday night coming at 7.30pm with every match. Exclusive live and free on Chairman 9 now. Boomers in the Opals eyeing some, uh, some silverware. Maybe some gold there. Yeah, Phil Harris. Saw Jonathan first. With Paddy Mills. Yep. Couple of old gold Aussie legends there. thrown everything at Penrith tonight and yet Panthers have only conceded twice that was uh, two tries in the first half and you just sense the frustration is setting in over Manly oh, there you go. A, a drop by Jake yeah middle everybody up Andrew mentioned earlier in the game that when fatigue sets in that's when we are it's going to be hard to play this style of football and you can see the fatigue setting in now and simple errors like that Jake's done a lot of work in the middle of the field. Does anyone call you William? Not really. <laughs> Andrew might now. Oh. Josh, give room now. Up a cat, however. So, Toto. Lindsay Smith is a player that's really burst onto the NRL stage this year. Arrows for Jamin Salmon. His first involvement. Tackled by DC on the 10 metre line. Sonny Luke for Nathan Cleary. He's been keen to dummy and run quite a bit throughout the game, but hasn't had any success with it. Kepi wrapped him up. Luke plays left now. Yo. Yo! He'll be hard to hold. They just managed to converge. Last tackle. Hold. And that was his answer. We'll, we'll go to ground here. We're ahead by 12. Giving the ball back down there. It's Dean Madison who debuted a few weeks back here and scored a try with his first touch in the NRL. Tolu Kola. So explosive off the mark. Ducking and diving, distributing, simply. Out the back it comes. Playing adventurously here, and I suppose that, that is necessary given the circumstances. It's just to nine metres from the halfway. the ball. Oh, he, he called hell. He got second effort. He came in, knocked the ball out he's, after the hell call. A bit he hard. comes in with a tackle after hell. For Taruba because Garrick was getting up to yep. run the football. 
Yep. I've called held, and then he comes in and joins the tackle. Crichton makes a great low tackle. Ruben Garrick. He's going to keep running. And you could argue it should be a penalty against Ruben Garrick. I think the fact that the referee didn't know what to do should have just been a play. Anyway, Manly on the attack. Well, Freddie thinks there's a comeback in them. Let's see whether they can get it rolling here. Simply confronted by Sonny Luke. Well, the Kawatu. Coggins done well there. Salmon also part of it. Salmon to play Sorensen, by the way. Six more, Six more tackles. Garrick, away now for Madison. He got it around the corner. It was knocked on. Surely it was knocked on by Penrith. Surely it was knocked on by Tottenham. Amusing. It, it looked like it had to be forward off Tottenham's hand. The Panthers showing us why they're the best team in the competition defensively here tonight. This is the third game in a row that they haven't conceded a try in the second half. They're the closeout kings. Jamin Salmon, bulldog bound following this season. Uh, Jake Arthur, so the 18th man, about to be sent out there. Harry looking for something. He beat Cogger, but Yo comes in and Cogger comes back. So what's the replacement here? Tackle one, Ruben. Push up, James. Okay. On the far side of the ground, a Kelma to a has come off. So it'll be Tristan to the back row, you think. Counts this as the future. Next year, when Luke Brooks arrives, it's taught that Schuster will play in the back row. Croker goes for a run for a few steps, got it to DCE, back to Croker. Croker sizes them up. Tackled by Lindsay Smith. Middle of the 30 metre line. Manly have got to find a blow here. Arthur Schuster. Beat one, beat two. Schuster still alive. Couldn't get it away in one hand. We sub. Takes it comfortably. Can he get the ball away? He does. It's still the last. It's kicked over the top. The Panthers have knocked it on. It's picked up by Arthur. They've knocked it on too, Manly. I'd imagine it's a first knock on. He's just called yeah, Manly here. knock on. Well, Penrith knocked it on first. Play the ball in the Penrith ten. Knocks it on. Front there's foot. no advantage taken. Front foot, hold. There's no way there's an advantage there. Summerton's back on the ground too, number 26. Martin on the right hand side. Manly will argue that they've had a couple of things not go their way tonight, which potentially could have. Cog has wrestled to the ground by Adali Terry Evans. Summerton into acting half. Here comes a Cleary hanger. Effective all the same. Garrick with it now. And the Panthers trying to close this out. And uh, maybe take a, another step towards a minor premiership. Should they win it this year, it'll be their third in four years. Of course, they're, they're looking to make a fourth grand final in a row. And they're looking to maybe win the premiership three years running, which will just be extraordinary in the era of salary caps, etc. We've got two of their main men out tonight, of course. No Jerome Luai. Cherry Evans, the master at the 
This one not with the required angle. And top or gallops back. Well done, Jack Arthur. Fullback, it doesn't look as comfortable as he has. I think Billy pointed out earlier that he's noticed him feeling a rib the last couple of weeks. And yeah, one of these tackles is not that I haven't helped at all. He's to Ruba. Well, Pepe got him early. I think that was the first set of the game, wasn't it? the Saab into the garage. Now Vayunga. Throwing everything they've got at them tonight, Manly. Terry Evans has tried so hard. Here's a chance. Some space down the wing. Saab. Last pass from Jake Arthur. The time they had some shape. And Reuben Garrick there. Cherry Evans with a kick. Garrick with a, a chase. Up to Reuben. He's going to pass it in the end goal. <laughs> Over to Edwards. Edwards will go to Toto. Toto's past the 10. He thought about slipping it to Hosking. That's such confidence. Yeah, Tarubin read that really well. He was moving back for the kick before the kick even happened. Moving off the football. Great footy awareness. Jack Cogger now. Silly penalty. No, I did not. I'd imagine Nathan Cleary wanders over to put the ball out. I think you'd be wanting to put the cherry on top on this game. Four minutes to go. Tomorrow night, big game that. Speaking of teams walking the finals tight, right? Parramatta. Projecting they need to win two of their three remaining games. They've got a buy there also, but amongst it, this game against uh, the Broncos, they've got the Roosters and the Panthers coming up. Last week, take a shot at penalty goal if they want. Brisbane against the Cowboys. They were on fire. Jeez, that played well. That one's at the Gabba. Back. Yeah, there's some teams playing for their seasons at the moment. It's good last week, Jock Madden. Yeah, it's really good. Three to go. Pen with ten out. Cleary, Fisher Harris, Rudy Smith. Smith with the pass. Crichton didn't want it to get to Cogger. Eventually it does. Cogger slips over, gets up, goes again, ducks underneath one. Nearly beat Campy, the ball comes out. Here's Jake Arthur. Interesting where Jake Arthur fits into the equation here at Manly. Obviously, only a very young man still, but the book's coming next year, and then the potential positional move for Schuster. Well, with Brooks coming next time. With Brooks coming next year, guaranteed to be fired up. For the rest of the year, do you put Schuster at back row? And just have a look at the dynamics of the team, how they defend, how they attack with him there. With his skill, and it opens up a, that left side of his head back row, mate. It opens up a lot of options. Well, the biggest thing is it gives Schuster an opportunity to get some reps in yeah. in the back row. That's where you see him playing. Give him a taste of it. And he can settle into the preseason. 
Edwards still freewheeling back at them. They've just been too good tonight. Challenged early, but they never panic this Penrith side, do they? they? They just know that they've got their way of, of playing. If they, if they grind for the 80 minutes, invariably they'll come in on top, and they've done that again tonight. Great tackle. Madison. Dean Madison, I thought that was our man Ray. No, they go buckling back on Ray. It's One man that to come back in, yet to come back into this Panthers team is, is Isaac Tunnel. Mm, he's been missing for a few weeks now. Obviously, Luai, Mitch Kenny, great team. Spencer Lenu too, Billy. Lenu, but Isaac Tunnel. He plays that right centre position. Cleary, grubbers through, ball on the ground, kicked over the back. Uh, well, manly. Zach Hosky. All manly. He's done like. a great job playing out of position at centre. Got a bloke in front. It's been a great buy. Really great buy for the Pan Panthers. Shot clock on. And then Manly in no hurry to, to recommence. That might be it. Daly Cherry Evans knows that uh, there's no need to restart. Penrith march on. That's eight in a row against Manly. They remain top of the ladder and unfortunately for the Sea Eagles, it would appear their season, or at least the aspirations of featuring in the finals, have come to an end here. 24-12 Thursday night footy from Four Pines Brookie.